Hi everyone, it's Nat. Hope you're all doing well and I hope you've all recovered from your overeating at Christmas. I'm still going with mine because you know what it's like. You come home with all the excess and then you go shopping and everything's on sale, which isn't very helpful. So, um, yeah, so it's Friday. I usually do a book haul, um, but the shop has the week off in between Christmas and New Year's this year. So no book haul tonight. But I thought I will get on and do a bit of crafting because I do have a challenge in one of my Facebook groups where I have to make an altered bag with two tags and three paper clips, I think it is. Oh, and I need to use lace, so I must not forget that bit. So I do have these beautiful, I think they're vintage because they're sort of a bit worn. They've been in the sun or something, um, like goodie bags. So I thought I'll use one of those. Then I was debating whether I fold it up like that or keep it like that. I might keep it like that and just uh, stick these edges down so it's a little tuck in there. So that's the bag I'm going to use. Now, it's very hot here at the moment. It's about 40 degrees, so still got some fires in the area, but at the moment they're under control, which is great. So we're just hoping the weather doesn't get too much worse. All right, so I might leave that unstuck just while I figure out what I'm doing with the top here. I did find a whole lot of pictures, um, just some floral ones, which I like. And there's two in particular out of all that that I'm thinking will be really nice on here. There might have been another one too. That'd all be really nice actually, so it's a bit of a dilemma. ones. That one's a bit small I think. Don't mind any of those. But I do like the Canterbury Bell there. So might use that one I reckon. So I'm just going to rip around it. Make it a bit rough and rustic. So I hope all the fires are calming down where everyone else is as well. Had a nice lunch out at Christmas. I went to one of my brother's houses for lunch and then came home and sorted out some beads, which was fun. Nice and relaxing Christmas, which was good. Alright, that's not looking too bad. I wasn't going to ink, but it might do with some vintage photo. Find my little ink dauber. So yes, New Year soon. I intend on being organised. I say that every year, so I can buy myself a planner and trying to figure out how I want to organise it all so it's functional and works for me. Alright, so that's that. And I think we'll stick some stuff behind it as well. So, bring out some I think we need cheese cloth or some linen behind me. I must have put my white cheese cloth away so I'll have to go with tea dyed. Just see how this looks. Now, did bring out some music paper as well. Might just rip some of that up. Put that in ink, and then we'll see if it goes good behind. 
so I tried to avoid the uh, Boxing Day sales. Told myself, no, nope, don't need it, I'm not going, I'll be too busy. So, and then I found myself looking online yesterday um, and seeing if they had sales online. And the sales didn't look any better than any other day. So I thought, well, maybe they only have the really good ones if you go in store. And I've been seeing people occasionally getting things for a dollar each at Spotlight, like dyes and stuff like that. And I didn't want to miss out, so I ended up going. And I'll tell you, they didn't have anything that was any decent price really at all, other than, I will show you this one thing I did get. <laughs> it's more of a novelty than functional though. Uh, yeah, I've got it right here. Probably under everything, but... I've been eyeing these off for the last six months and thinking, no, 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 because I think they're about $30 or something. <laughs> but they had them for $10, I think, so I grabbed one finally. But, um... I reckon you put stuff in it and then the stuff will go and get caught in the mechanics and then it won't work anymore and then all your ephemera is going to be stuck in the silly thing but it's worth it just to watch it look at that I could just sit there all day doing that isn't that cool <laughs> so I've got myself an ephemera storage that I'll probably just play with all the time so yes and then I've got some shelves um, as you know, I've had my son move back in, so I um, had to move my craft stuff out so he could have some room. And um, so I bought some wire shelving to go into my bedroom uh, to put more of my things on. Now that looks all right. It's just the placement that I'm not sure about. and where to put everything. So I'll just have a bit of a play around. I definitely like that down there. I do have some cheesecloth. Just cut some of this off. I haven't got much room to move around here because I've just started another journal which I'm going to video most of it I reckon but I can't put it up until the recipient has it so um, but yes yeah, so I'm surrounded by all the stuff for that one so now I think it's probably better with cheesecloth so we could still have some of that behind, really layer it up a bit. Let's see what other bits I have in here. Got a bit. I think this was a, um, a bandage or a sling. And I just tea dyed it. I have to get some more of that material because it's quite nice. I think we'll just get a thick work of that. Cut this side down. Straighten it up a little bit. Gonna fray the edges a bit. You can hear all these baby cockies outside screaming for food. Got all the windows open waiting for some coolness. Don't know if we're gonna have any tonight. Right. 
bit more nut like that. Might do something like that. Let's get those down first because I'm quite happy with the way they are. So I'll just use glue stick for this. It's got little bits of cotton everywhere. Helmets glue for this since we're sticking it onto fabric. So I was almost going to buy a new phone uh, with some money that I had for Christmas, but decided against it for now. Still arguing in my head what I do, but I have found a tripod online. It's a bit expensive though, but I might be able to use it got an extendable arm which I might be able to use with my camera because my camera does an alright job it's just it, the tripods in the way so not too bad actually so use my stick glue again for the cheesecloth Looking forward to going back to the bookstore next week. So, give me a chance to clean up the ones I've got here. Now. Come on over this way a bit so it just covers. That's not too bad. Snip a little bit of this off because I don't need that much hanging down. Let's grab a tissue. Okay, so that's that part of it. Could possibly do with a word or something. Um, just thinking what we might like to put in the bottom here. Now we might be able to stick this bit down now too because we're not going to put anything sort of down. We don't need to put any of this down in there, decorations, so we'll make a little pocket now. Goodness me, the glue is really coming out well today. <laughs> That's what happens in this hot weather. So I'll just get a bit down, put it on that side. And then on that side, that big blob off. Let that 
try. Alright, now just want to have a look. I've got my ephemera folder here. I have got all these stickers just recently and I haven't used any of those. So let's just see if any of them will be any good. I've got birds there. Those little floral stickers at the top, but I don't think they'll go. Got stickers like this. They all look a bit big though for where I want to put them. And the butterflies, which probably are a bit big too. I was hoping. I hoping I'd be smaller. I need to get myself some smaller stickers on. Here we go. Um, That one's a nice colour. Keep that one out. I'll just put that back over there. I think we'll put him up there. But he'd fit alright down there, possibly. So we need some paper to go down there, I reckon. Some scraps here. That stuff will look alright. Bit of music paper is not wide enough. Some tea dyed stuff. Kind of like the look of this stuff. So I might just use some of that. Very brittle. That's quite nice. I might ink that a little bit. if we can without breaking it too much. Just needs a light little ink anyway. Very sheer chill. This it might be nice somewhere though. Let's cut a bit of it off that we can have a look at. It's quite nice over the top. Don't know how well the butterfly would stick over it. I'd probably have to put some glue on. It's quite interesting underneath actually, so I might put it underneath. I just need to. Almost got it the right width. Just straighten it up a little bit, take a bit off. There we go. I think that will be fine. So I'll take that on. So looking forward to the new year. Get organised, lots of new crafty endeavours which will be great fun. <laughs> I tried. Alright, grab the Helmars. I need to get a whole lot of words going, I reckon. I can just be, look nice with a stamped word. I need to um, pre prepare a whole lot of words for this sort of thing to put on, and dictionary meanings and that. Whack them in my ephemera folder. 
what I'll be doing. That's what I should be aiming at this year is getting a whole lot of um, embellishments and that mass making a whole lot to go. Oh, that looks all right. I'm just going to cut a little bit of this off too because I don't want to annoy me. So I'll be able to slip one of the tags in there and one of the tags in there. And then we'll just have to figure out what to do with the paper clips. Now, do we want butterfly? I do like the look of the butterfly there. And I do have got labels, but I don't know, they're a bit big. It's another thing I have to do is make a whole lot more labels. Do have they might fit under there somewhere down the bottom there or a black one I think I've got two there don't know if there's much else in here I don't want to use tickets no alright might be able to do an altered ticket paper clip so we'll see try and remember that uh, let's see if we want to use one or not I don't think I do really no all right stick a time I've never used one of these before let's see if I can peel the thing yes I think I can whether it sticks or not is another thing. Oh, that's sticky. Might be able to redo something with the um, it's an acetate that comes off the bottom of the sticker in the butterfly shape, so I might keep that. Might be able to colour it. So I think he might go about there. Oops, I've got a bubble in it. He sticks it right to the book page. Now he's up a bit further. Yeah, I can fold him over. That'll do. Don't like that, the edge on them very much, but give it a bit of a ink. Still good to use them. Right, so that's not too bad. I have some eyelash trim and stuff too, but I don't know where I'd put that for now, so put that to the side. I need to have some off cuts of lace and stuff here. Some of that would look alright on there. All these bits to play around with. Coming, yep. There we go, I quite like that. I 
Right. Now I've got to do clean up my mess a bit so I can find my tags. I say, I've got to do some tags. Now I have these that I had previously made um, a Franken page sort of thing. Um, so they're a good size I reckon to slip in the top there and put a little tab on. So I might use one of those. Oh hang on they can go in. Will they fit in there? Yeah one of those can sit in there really nicely. And then I've got this blank tag that I've cut out that can slip in the top because it's a bit bigger. So that'll be better in the top, I reckon. Yeah, so that'll be my two tags that I'm going to make. So it's just a point of picking one of these, which will probably be that one will do. Why not? Although it depends which picture we choose to go on. I kind of like this one, actually. So we might rip around this and use it as the picture to put on one of the tags. My ripping's getting a bit clumsy, but that's all right. Go on there nicely. Find which one he looks the best on. Doesn't look too bad on that one. Looks nice on one of these plainer ones. Kind of like him on that one. Put these away. wait for it to cool down so I can get in and do some more cleaning up. Might have a nice cool shower afterwards, that'll help. Now these don't have a back on them either so we'll have to put a back on them. I wasn't sure when I used them whether I'd use them as tuck spots or what so I just left them blank so stick that on in a minute just debating whether we want to put anything underneath it it's a bit bulky Some as a tab or something. Oh, just a little bit down the bottom there. Not using up all the scraps. The only thing is we've got to slip it into the pocket so we don't want to make it too bulky. It's not too bad. Put that on. why it's great to have these cards already made up because you don't have to add a lot and they look pretty good
that I could put on. I've got flowers. I think I'll worry about that afterwards. So and we'll get this other one done. Now we do need to back that, don't we? Didn't bring out paper for backing. I should have something here though. It's always something. I could try a bit of a collage backing. Paper bin. There's a piece. Right, we'll use some of that. Yeah, that looks all right. Might just give it a light ink where the join is. I say a light ink and then I make a big mess. Oh, sorry about that. Ah, oh, it's my dog. Uh, I think she feels nauseous a fair bit lately. She's been coughing. Uh, quite a bit. Just keep an eye on her. Give her lots of love. What can you do? <laughs> now she's tacking her legs for fun. <laughs> Every time I think she's sick, she goes being silly. <sighs> it's like a roller coaster with her. Oh, here you go again. You're right. You're getting your tail. You're getting all hot. Oh, animals. Right, so I'm just going to cut off the excess here. So yes, this actual journaling card, I'm oh, it was made out of, that's right, it was some of my study page that I um, just... Um, a four page of my old study on copy paper that I just Franken page collaged over the top of and then cut it up into like journal card or OTC size squares around that anyway. It's a bit rough. Cut that off. There we go. So now we just need to ink that a bit more. tab on that would look nice let me just see if I've got anything I do have some it's very bright though some of that let's just see I've got this scrap in here I could go a different colour doesn't look like much unless I go a bit of calico which I could There's yellow, which is too bright, and I've got my laces and my ribbons as well. It's a bit bright too. Got some of this, I don't know what it's called, that stuff. Could use that. So I'll just keep it all out because if I don't use it for this one, I might use it for the next one. I want to use. Alright, so let's have a look. Not quite nice, just with a bit of calico at the back there, like that. Could even just fold it over a little bit. 
might do something like that, so I'll just neaten it up. little bit just about in the middle there glue strings everywhere and now is my tissue it's a bit much so and a little bit on the back I think that's all right. Thought it could do with a word or something. Um, I'll see what I've got later, but I don't know. Words and labels are overrated. <laughs> that's what I reckon anyway. And as I say that, I'm thinking, hmm, maybe I'll just see what the labels look like. <laughs> but don't worry about that after. I'll start using them sometime though. So that will sit in there like that. It's not too bad. So now I've got this one. So let's we'll see if there's another flower that we want to put on there. That one's not too bad. Love that one. Oh my god, this big daisy. I think it's out of these two. I think I'll go that one because it's in keeping with the colour scheme. So let's do that somehow. I don't know if we want the name. What I might do is just, we could add the name afterwards. I'm just going to cut around the black border and just leave a little margin of white. Make it look sort of even. I am just going to let my dog out. I will be back. Okay, I'm back. I let the dog out and while she was out, I hunted through my stamps and I found one that says memories here. And I reckon it's going to fit just nicely there. So I'm going to stamp it on a piece of music paper. Some of this tea dyed music paper, I reckon, and see how it goes. Just needs something there. It's a bit bland. Just use my archive link for this. smudge it if it's still a bit wet. It should dry pretty quick in this weather one would think. It's quite big so I have to rip it quite close. There's a dog's lying happily on her bed now. 
just ate her dinner finally she's taken forever to eat it don't blame her though no I don't feel like eating much um, when it's hot Well, that reminds me I'm picking my daughter up tonight from work and we go past McDonald's I can get a McFlurry I'm excited now <laughs> it's terrible I'm addicted to things but it's so hot I quite like that it's a little bit big but it doesn't matter if it goes over the butterfly a bit I'll try and rip a little more off I just don't want to rip into the word at all get that off around there doesn't matter all right let's give that a little ink look, look nice up there too oh goodness let's just ink it and then we'll argue in our head about it do need something down there. I do have other words. Oh, I'd look nice there. <laughs> I always do this to myself. I should be doing it live so I could ask people. <laughs> but no, I'd be terrible live. <laughs> Bad enough as it is. I'm going to stick him up there because I do like him up there. So this will definitely have to be a two-parter and I'll have to do the um, paper clips in the next episode. Yeah, that does look nice up there doesn't it all right now I think I had sweets somewhere that'd be nice now I've got to have a look again through there to see what to put down here dream just for you no happiness for you thank you get sick of them all saying the same sort of thing seized today I like that one wonderful wonderful would be all right goes with memories all right how big is that it's a bit smaller too let's put wonderful on there now if I still got I don't know if it's quite big enough we will see Grab that off swap them over fit on that piece so let us see I think I've got some more here yes I do because I do like the look of that another good way of using up the scraps now can you see just there that's a bit better fire here yesterday I heard all these sirens and I came inside and I looked on the CFS website and there was nothing um, but then um, I follow the South Australia police um, so fortunately I had an update and one of the um, tire places here it was quite late in the afternoon too was on fire so we had to shut all the windows and everything because of the smoke for a few hours which was annoying because it was just that time of the day where you could open up and let it cool down. Now if we have that in there, it sort of looks alright, let's ink it and see. It's 
So yeah, it sounds like it was deliberately lit too. So that'll be interesting to see what happened there. Because you'd think if it was um, some hoons or something, they'd do it. Um, you know, at night time where they wouldn't get caught in that. So I don't know. What, if they think it's deliberate, I don't know who they think did it. Could put it up that way too for a bit of difference. It does fit nicely there. Let's just whack it there. got a Kayser Craft um, $50 box uh, with 200 worth of goods in it and I might I hope they do that each Christmas and I'll probably get one for myself for Christmas each year because they have um you know it's worth the money there are a few coloring books and um, stamps and dies and then heaps and heaps of papers and a lot of the papers are really cool ones too so all right so I really like that now that's heaps better with those words so I don't think Matt needs anything extra because the words are quite busy enough. So now it's just the second tag and then we've got our bag with our two tags and then we've just got to make three paper clips. So we'll get on with this tag and try and get that done in this video. Now I think we're going to need some music paper or something behind for starters. Um, because that will flow well with what we've got already. Just make sure I've got it up the right way. <laughs> Not that you have to be aiming like that. I have to get over it. I'm going to have to do a whole lot of collaging sometime where I do it all over the place. That'll be good for me. But for this sort of thing, if you're just putting one piece on, I do like it to be up the right way. Just around these bits. Take that down. Alright, that's pretty good. We'll put that on. Hmm, doesn't sound like a nice song. Something about three corpses laying out on the something or other. And women are weeping. <laughs> nice, bright and cheery. I'm catching up on a few um, oh, horrible bit things on Netflix. Uh, horror movie yesterday, it was a bit of a B-grade horror movie, but I like watching that sort of thing during the day when I'm crafting. And then I watched some mini-series thing, something about don't mess with cats it did have a rude word but I won't repeat that which is quite a controversial show that's out at the moment on Netflix but it was a fascinating uh, murder case that one now glue so I haven't seen too much of everyone on YouTube lately probably because it's the Christmas break and everyone's busy usually I have like 10 videos that I've got to watch and I can't keep up with them lately I'm lucky if I get one or two although I can't talk I don't think I've done one for about three days either Always got stuff sticking to me roller and my fingers and my clothes stuff everywhere all right it's a bit neat isn't it I might have to rip it I mean it looks good like that but not when everything else around it's ripped though it might look all right let's ink it and see if that makes a difference That's a bit of a difference. And now we've got the words. Oh, I made a good ink.
Now, I've got this. Glossy. <laughs> Give it that. Let me just give it a bit more of an ink. <laughs> it's still too glossy for me, but that's it'll be all right. Still debating whether I rip around it. I think I'm going to have to because it's just too neat. Beautiful pictures these ones are. And come from a set of books that I've got like a whole lot of the set and I keep finding doubles and I'll grab them whenever I find them because I just love the pictures they are glossy but they're beautiful and such a good size to do lots of different things with yes I think once it's inked that'll be much better Hope you're all getting some crafting done. Been missing up the last few days. I've got a really fun journal that I'm working on at the moment. Alright, that's going to look alright. I'll just put that on before I have more time to argue with myself. Oh, yes, my miles for that since it's going to go over the lace a bit. Definitely need a tab of some description for that. Just thinking whether we use something like this on there. Don't like the curve in it. Good to use it up though. It's sort of alright, sort of a bit messy. this off cut it's quite nice Let's see what we can do with that cut it straighten that edge Now, 
do something I rarely do because I usually don't like it but I think it would be nice for this one and staple it but I am thinking still could put some of this somewhere or what else have we got fringe is quite nice don't mind that <laughs> it's a bit different but trying to put the tag in stick those little bits down to it staple will reach, it should reach fine. Let me put that over either side I reckon. If I can, I'm getting to that stage where I'm starting to fumble everything. It's not too bad. Let's see how we go here. Not good. Right, it again. Just a tad fiddly. Let's try and get it in the middle. <laughs> Junk journaling, it doesn't have to be in the middle. <laughs> That'll do. Crooked as. Well, that slipped out anyway. What I can do is just stick that one down because the front one's stapled in. So that will be alright. Nothing that can't be fixed with a bit of glue. Let's put a good dog there. There we go. Slippery stuff didn't want to stay in the staple. It's better than it's neatened it up a bit. Now I might just cut this fringy bit off a bit. There we go. That's not too bad. Alright, might leave that as it is and finish it here. And then when we come back. I will do the three paper clips. So there's our bag, and there's our first tag. And that can be journaled on. That slips in there quite nicely, except for the lace. Just gotta be careful putting it in. That's all. And then there's our second tag. My ink around it afterwards, and then that slips in like that and then you've got the tab so you know that there's a tag in there and can pull it out all right everyone take care and i'll see you again real soon bye <laughs>